welcome to Prudent Media News. First to look at the headlines. Manohar Parikar fulfills BJP manifesto in the state budget. Petrol prices reduced by 11 rupees per litre. 1 lakh rupees for girls' marriage. Power tariff raised. For liquor wine, beer to be costlier. License fee of land casinos and offshore casinos increased. Fees of handling mineral dumps raised. Infrastructure tax increased. Varied reaction to the populist budget presented by CM Manohar Parikar. Many welcome it. Opposition says budget has failed to create in in initiative employment. And with six matches left, Carlos Roberto Pereira is optimistic about Churchill Brothers' title chances. Sporting coach Akendra Singh targets top five finish for the Flaming Orange. And now the news in detail. Chief Minister and Finance Minister of the state Manohar Parikar presented a populist budget on Monday. Manohar Parikar has termed this budget as the budget of Parivartan. Petrol prices have been reduced by 11 rupees per litre. Housewife with family income of less than 3 lakh can avail 1,000 rupees stipend every month. Girls will get 1 lakh rupees for their marriage. Have a look. Sir, the kind of mandate the people have given to us is such that today, while I speak on the budget, I can only be kind and kind towards them, leaving cruelty for others who want to be so. Sir, the path ahead is not easy, but I believe in the words of Martin Luther King, the ultimate measure of a man is not when he stands in moment of comfort, but when he stands in time of challenge. Goodies, confident of growth rate of 12%, targeting growth rate of 15%, Goa to be investor-friendly destination, services within 24 hours to citizens, Lokayukta after President's Ascent, DSS, PDS to be linked to UID, agriculture policy to be formed, support price to paddy increased by rupees 10, support price of rupees 90 to cashew, support price of Sanjeevni sugar factory rupees 2400 per tonne, Support price to milk, rupees 30 per litre. Special schemes for farmers to avail loans. Loans even to farmers with disputed land. Special scheme to promote salt farming. Target of 6% agriculture growth. Self-sufficiency in agro products intended. Prices of LPG to be frozen for next 5 years. Allowance of rupees 1000 per month to housewives with family income below 3 lakhs. Ladli Lakshmi scheme to provide 1 lakh rupees for the marriage of a girl child. DSS amount increased to 2000 rupees 2500 pension to seamen subsidy for pilgrimages to religious places rupees 300 crore outlay for welfare of st recruitment drive for st government abolishes house tax in panchayat areas abolition of house tax to bpl families in municipal areas group housing for middle poor class new six lane bridge on zuari in 36 months 24-hour water supply to all households in Goa within 4 years. Special 4-lane bridge to enter Panji. Rupees 1 crore each for construction of Konkani and Marathi Bhavan respectively. Rupees 25 lakhs to construct small theatres in villages. Research chairs in the name of Anthony Gonsalves, Padma Vibhushan, Mario Miranda and Nana Shirgaonkar. Tablet PCs for students up to standard 9th. Indira Balrat for all schools. Need-based grants to pre-primary schools. Football declared as state sports. 100% financial assistance to students in HSS whose family income is less than Rs 3 lakh. Mining corridor from 60% mining revenue. Zero tolerance to illegal mining. Goa State Football Development Council formed under Dr. Rufino Montero. Football ground announced at Benauli. Late night buses connecting major towns. 300 new buses to be introduced by KTC, expert group to study and reduce traffic congestion, old buses to be taken off the road in 3 years, dedicated motorcycle and bicycle lanes, 
truck owners to be covered under yellow and black taxi scheme, small time barge owners, reimbursement of barge tax paid, human resource development corporation to train youth for employment oriented courses, retirement age of corporation autonomous employees 60, world experts to prepare tourism master plan, cluster tourism authorities to diversify tourism avenues, Swarna Jayanti Bhima Yojana increased to rupees 2 lakhs per family from 60,000, Mediclaim to cover all critical ailments, petrol to be cheaper by 11 rupees, VAT on petrol almost abolished, VAT on aviation turbine fuel brought down to 12.5%, halls attached to religious institutions exempted, turbine fuel VAT reduced. As Kautilya said in 300 year, year 300 BC, that as the bee collects honey, gradually from the flower, so should the ruler fill the treasury collecting revenue gradually. Further, he said that the ruler should develop state revenues only by just means, with impartiality, without granting any favour. This is relevant even today. Now the baddies. Cars, SUVs above 15 lakhs costlier, two-wheelers about 2 lakhs to cost more, entry tax on NAFTA enhanced by 15%, casino entry fee reduced to rupees 500, Luxury tax for commercial sale, bazaar at 5%. One-time tax on motor vehicles enhanced to 6% for vehicles costing rupees 6 lakhs and below. 7% for above rupees 6 lakh. Power tariff increased. Electricity duty enhanced to 20 paisa per unit. Duty for industries enhanced by 70 paisa per unit. Infrastructure tax enhanced to rupees 150 per square meters for residential and industry. Bureau report, Prudent Media. However, in the height and finance, Minister Manohar Parker's budget, foreign liquor, wine and beer will be costlier. Fees for handling mineral dumps have been increased from 250 to 500 rupees. License fee of land casinos and offshore casinos have also been increased. Similarly, entrance tax on casino games have been increased to 15%. Government has also raised the infrastructure tax. I propose to increase the tariffs as indicated in Annexure B which would generate additional revenue of around 101 crores. Common man is not impacted. Industry is also not impacted. I also propose to increase the electricity duty from existing 80 paisa to 20 paisa per unit and from existing 58 paisa to 70 paisa per unit which would generate additional revenue to a tune of rupees 28 crores. Unorganized dumb handling, I propose to impose a fee of rupees 250 to 500 per ton depending on higher road percentage on all the dumps on the government, forest and Komnidat land. I am given to understand that there are large quantities of mineral got deposited on agriculture land due to mining operation and ore handling. These deposits are said to be large in quantity. I am also given to understand that few private players are in negotiation with the owners of the land for its handling. The revenue which is expected on account of payment of entry fee is rupees 9.41 crores during the current year 2011-12. As a measure to prevent, prevent avoidance in payment of entry fees, I propose that the entry fees for both the onshore and offshore casinos to be rupees 500. With this, the entry fees collected from offshore casinos would get reduced. However, to compensate such reduction in revenue, I propose to enhance the licensing license fee of offshore casino to rupees 6.5 crores per year, thereby bringing in additional revenue of 9 crores. Similarly, I also propose to enhance the license fee for onshore land-based casinos to rupees 2.5 crores annually, thereby bringing in additional revenue of more than rupees 30 crores. I propose to increase the rate of value-added tax on Indian-made foreign liquor, including foreign liquor and beer, from existing 20 to 22%. At present, aerated and carbonated non-alcoholic breweries are taxed at rate of 12.5. <coughs> In order to tap additional revenue, the tax rate is announced to 20%. However, the local small-scale unit manufacturing aerated and carbonated non-alcoholic breweries will be charged with the existing rate of 12.5. Bureau report, Prudent Media. 
There are varied reactions to the populistic budget presented by CM Manohar Parikar in the Assembly on Monday. People are happy with the budget as BJP have fulfilled their assurances in their election manifesto. But the opposition has called it a budget with no concrete employment generating avenues. Some paisa there as it will affect the common man. As electricity, practically everybody uses electricity. There is very vast unemployment among youths who are eight standard and above. Many of them now pass out in eight standards. That vast unemployment plus those who are SSC, they are fit for nothing. There have been a lot of freebies, as I said, given to us. But the very important basic thing is growth rate, employment uh, generation. Now he has given to the farmers, but youth are moving away from farming. पाटले दहा बारा वर्षातलं बरं बजेट अजून त्यातूनला त्यातून आणि पत्रकारांचे सुविधा दिल्या आहेत खरं म्हणजे त्यांचे आम्ही उपकारी असतात की पब्लिक ट्रान्सपोर्टान फिफ्टी पर्सेंट डिस्काउंट त्याशिवाय हाऊजिंग पॉलिसी ते हे करपाची असतात तयार करपाची असतात त्याशिवाय पेन्शन स्कीम आहा ती रिवाय करपाची असा प्रेस रूम एक सेक्रेटरीटान सेटअप करतले बऱ्यापैकी प्रेस रूम आणि एक पणजे एंटरटेनमेंट सोसायटीच्या प्रेमायसिसान त्याशिवाय लोकल रिपोर्टर जे असा गोयभरातले त्या लोकल त्या लोकल रिपोर्टरांक फायदा जातो असो काही गजाली फुडल्या एक वर्षभरान ते करतले वी शूड रिअली सी दॅट इट्स अन हॅट्स ऑफ टू मिस्टर परिकर फॉर गिव्हिंग अस अ वंडरफुल बजेट आय बिलीव्ह ही हॅज ऑलमोस्ट कवर्ड राऊंड अबाउट सेवन्टी टू सेवन्टी फाय पर्सेंट ऑफ ऑफ वॉट एव्हर ही हॅज प्रॉमिस्ड इन हिज मॅनिफेस्टो यू टू वी आर सिन्स वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट टुरिझम एज अ होल ही हॅज प्रॉमिस्ड अस टू गेट द बेस्ट वर्ल्ड कन्सल्टंट टू डिवलप टुरिझम इन गोवा ज्या तरेन ताणे सगळे सबसिडी डिक्लेअर केल्या सोशल वेलफेअर मेजर म्हाका दिसता ताणे एक ओवरऑल आउटलुक बरो दवरला सुरवात तरी बरी केल्या म्हणजे दणक्यान केल्या आम्ही म्हणतात तसे झाला आणि त्या खातीर ताणी सांगला की आधार कार्डाचो आपण कार्ड फायदो घेतलो म्हणून सस्टेन मायनिंगाक आम्ही सपोर्ट करता तू पेट्रोल देवयता तेन्ना इन्फ्लेशनाच्या दृष्टीन एक मोठा विचार जाता मागीर ताणी काही जो तांचे कंपल्शन्स कितें आसा की ते एक नवे सरकार आयिल्ले आसा ताणी एक जाहीरनामा दिल्लो आसा ते प्रमाणे सोशल सेक्युरिटी कवर जे ताणी कोणा कोणा प्रोमीस केल्ले ते ताणी इम्प्लिमेंट केला आणि जे रिवेन्यू जनरेशन मेज मेजर्स ताणी जे दाखयल्यात तेवूय ताणी अशे पद्धतीन केल्यात की कॉमन मनशाक ताचो मार बसपाक जायना त्याच प्रमाणे इंडस्ट्रीक एका सायडीन ताणी इनोवेटिवली वेगवेगळे एंट्री टॅक्स आणि खंयचे टॅक्स हातल्यान लग्जरी टॅक्स असे इन्सेंटिव्स दितनाच दुसरे सायडीन तुम्ही इन्सेंटिव्ह घेया तुम्ही वाढात तुम्ही एम्प्लॉयमेंट जनरेशन करा आणि सरकाराकूय रेव्हेन्यू दियात असे पद्धतीन हो एक इनोवेट प्रत्येक मनशाक सुरुवातीची पार्ट ये तरी वाचना अशी दिसली की प्रत्येक मनशाक किती पण आयुष्यान एक धरलेली उमेद आशिल्ली किंवा या सरकार कडल्यान त्या त्या सेक्टराक त्या त्या मनशाक ताणे किती पण जे मागला तितलेही सरकारान दिला आणि आम्ही म्हणटाले तसे वदो हे एका वर्साचे न्ही तर एक पाच सात वर्सा पण ताजे कडे पण जे किती तरी उरताले भितर दबून आशिल्ली ती सगळी ताणे भितर हे हाडून ताणे आपल्याली पण जे किती आसा ती पुर्ती केल्या आणि प्रत्येकान मागता ताका ताणे दिला खंयच्याय बजेटाचे किती असतं किंवा अदमासपत्राचे की निमाणे इम्प्लिमेंटेशन खरे हे सगळ्यान महत्वाचे असता आणि फुडल्या वर्सा आमकां आतले खरोखर कितल्यो स्किमी लोकां मेरेन पावल्या कितल्यो पावना आणि खंय कसे झाला हाजो खरो आढावा घेवपाक मेळटलो पण सध्या तरी किती असा की बेनिफिट ऑफ डाऊट म्हणतात तशी सगळ्यांक ताणे किती ना किती काढून प्रत्येकान मागता तितले दिला असे म्हणपाक येता खेता किती असा गव्हर्नमेंट मशिनरी जी असा ती मशिनरी एक्टिव्ह ताणे करून तो कितलो फाटल्यान लागतलो आणि शेतकऱ्या पर्यंत पावतलो ते महत्वाचे असा आणि त्या खातीर ताणे जे ट्रेनिंग सांगला फार्मराचे ट्रेनिंग घेतलो त्याचो तो एक महत्वाचा भाग जावन असतो की ह्यो गोष्टी शेतकऱ्यां पर्यंत पावतल्यो आणि ग्रासरूट लेवला सगळ्यांक पावतल्यो आणि त्यो पावल्यो जाल्यारच हेचो इफेक्ट जातो नाल्या एक टेम्पररी एक वर्षभर किती जाय आणि मागीर परत आसा तशा आयरे माझ्या मागल्या तसे जाऊ जायना ब्युरो रिपोर्ट प्रुडंट मीडिया इट्स टाइम नॉट फॉर शॉर्ट ब्रेक स्टेट युन्ड